In this video, we will discuss how steam is used in the farm industry. We will also see how steam is produced and what are, what are its types. Hi guys, welcome to my channel with another video, Use of Steam in Pharmaceutical Industry. In this video, we will explore how steam is produced and the various types of steam used in the pharma sector. We will also see different types of steam utilized each with its unique purpose and significance. So let's start. Introduction Steam is an essential and critical utility in the pharma industry and it is impossible to carry out routine functions and operations without steam. Steam is mainly used to generate high temperatures in various pharma equipment. Among all forms of fluid such as gas and liquid, steam has the higher thermal energy characteristics which makes it an effective source of heat for all pharma related applications and also provides cost effective. In the pharma industry, steam directly comes in contact with the product, so it must be of high quality and standards. Also, it must be compatible with the product and must not destroy and damage the product. Steam Production Let's discuss some common ways of producing steam in pharma industry. Like other industries, steam is generated by heating water at high temperatures when it changes its form from liquid to gas. The quality of steam depends upon the type of water being used in the equipment. If feed water contains any traces of chemicals, contaminants or other substances, it, it is transferred to the steam. In pharma industry, there are two methods of generating steam and are boiler and steam generator. Boiler Boilers are industrial grade equipment to generate steam. Their internal structure allows them to easy, easily heat transfer to convert it into steam. Feed water used in the boiler is untreated or raw and it is not pure. In addition to impurities, feed water to the boiler also contain chemical as a part of equipment requirement. Chemicals are used to increase the life of internal parts and mechanical structure and to prevent them from corrosion and scaling. As a result, traces of these chemicals are transferred to steam and can affect the process or product to which this steam is exposed. Traces of chemical in steam make them unable to use them for application in which steam directly comes in contact with product. Commonly, coal-fired, gas-fired and oil-fueled steam boilers are used in the farm industry. Steam generator. Steam generator is also equipment used to convert water into steam. Steam generator is much smaller in capacity and size than boilers. Its main advantage is that its internal parts prevent contamination because they are made of a pharma grade metallic parts. The feed water to the steam generator is WFI or USP grade drinking water and does not require any chemical treatment. Steam from steam generator can be used for processes in which steam comes in direct contact with the product. Types of steam. Let's discuss types of steam used in pharma industry. Some common types of steam used in pharma include plant steam or raw steam, chemical free steam, pure or clean steam. Plant steam or raw steam. Plant steam or raw steam is generated from raw and treated water. Since the feed water is raw and treated, the steam produced is also of low quality and cannot be used for critical applications such as where the steam comes in direct contact with the product. Since steam cannot be used for critical applications, it can only be used for heat exchangers and HVAC system. Chemical free steam. Chemical free steam is generated from feed water that is free from chemicals and, and is treated before feeding to the boiler. Chemical free stream is not of pharma grade standard and cannot be used for 
क्रिटिकल एप्लीकेशन प्योर और क्लीन स्टीम प्योर और क्लीन स्टीम इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम ट्रीटेड वाटर दैट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इक्वलर टू एस पी ड्रिंकिंग वाटर और वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन प्योर और क्लीन स्टीम डज नॉट कंटेन केमिकल इन इट बिकॉज फीड वाटर डज नॉट कंटेन इट This type of stream can be used for critical applications where the stream comes in direct contact with the product. As mentioned earlier, pure or clean streams are produced in steam generator. Use of steam in farm industry. Let's discuss some uses of steam in farm industry. Some common uses of steam in the farm industry include sterilization, manufacturing process, steam gen- granulation, utility system. sterilization sterilization is a process of removing contaminants microorganisms and bacteria that are harmful for the product sterilization occurs at high temperature after items are exposed for a specific time steam is used as a medium to create high temperature in equipment called autoclave manufacturing process steam is also used in manufacturing of products especially sterile products in which steam is used as a part of formulation requirement utility system steam is used as a part of utility system such as air handling unit and hvac system like other processes they are also used to produce heat in various parts of hvac system such as heating coils tips of tips for effective use of steam in the pharma industry let's discuss some tips for effective use of steam in the pharma industry and how it can be used effectively some common areas that are helpful in determining the efficiency of steam include material of construction condensate air and superheat material of construction material of construction of the piping intermediate accessories such as valves and fittings must be ss316l as this prevents material degradation and prevents contamination in the steam flowing through it additionally metallic parts must also be electro polished condensate condensate is a liquid in the steam typically that is not converted into steam and degrades the heating efficiency condensate also facilitates the growth of microorganism in which it is being supplied it should be removed from line air air also degrades the steam efficiency and must be removed air also results in energy wastage in generating steam superheat superheat in steam occurs when its temperature becomes greater than the saturated steam Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you immediately know whenever there is a new video. You can also read this article on Pharmaspecs website. Link is also in the description.